Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Hearts Beat Loud, which is a new film from Brett Haley, who also did The Hero, starring Sam Elliott last year, and I was very excited when I heard about this film because I love Nick Offerman, I'm a huge fan of Parks and Rec, and I absolutely love me some Ron Swanson, and I was excited to see what this film brought about, about this man whose wife is dead for a long time and he's raised his daughter. Music's a big thing in his life, his wife's life, and wants it to be a part of his daughter. She's about to go to college and they make a song together and they have different outlooks on where they want their futures to go. And while also trying to figure out how to make his record store stay afloat, and this film is very much at the heart of it, a film about music. It's not a musical, but it feels a lot like something like Sing Street, where you could feel the passion for music through the story, through the characters, through the actual music being played in the film. And Brett Haley does such a great job of handling this film, balancing it between emotions and fun and the music. Everything runs so smooth, the characters, it really balance is a great it, different kinds of tones from being very funny there's a lot of characters with a lot of great dialogue and a lot of humor it's very charming this film is very charming the characters have a lot of charisma they have great chemistry with each other and there's very emotional moments and there's very powerful scenes throughout this film between some characters or in their solitary moments where you do feel a lot of emotion and you feel them really showing how they feel and how much what's going on is taking a toll on them. And the characters in this film I find very interesting, whether it's our the main character of the father played by Nick Offerman or his daughter Kiersey Clemens or some of the supporting characters like Ted Danson's barkeep or Tony Collette's landlady who has a budding relationship with Nick Offerman's character and they all have great connections with each other and strong relationships throughout and you really enjoy going through this film and seeing how these relationships evolve or what's brought them to this point especially the strong relationship between father and daughter and the tension that is there and the love that is there and the passion for music that's there and what really brings those two characters together and from start to finish I was so into this film it moves so well the pacing of this is fantastic you really feel like you're jumping in and really feeling what's going on here and the montages of them putting the songs together and the fantastic music I really enjoyed the music throughout this film it's a little different than the kind of music that I usually listen to, but I thought it fit very well, and it really captures this melding of this father, who's obviously an older generation, grew up with different music, melding together with this new outlook from his daughter, and what they bring together, and what they create together is something special. And Keegan DeWitt was the one involved in creating the music for this film, and he does a really good job. And then Eric Lynn, who's the DP with this, like the cinematography isn't super impressive. It's not something that's going to be super memorable, except those parts where they're playing the music. It's so well shot, and it really captures the energy going on of them performing this music, and you really feel it in it. And you feel the energy, you feel the passion going on, and it really stands out because this is what's really moving these characters, it's what's motivating them, and you can feel that with those scenes where the music's really coming through. And in terms of the acting, Nick Offerman is fantastic. He could do a couple of different things because, like, you shouldn't expect him to just be like grumpy old Ron Swanson kind of thing. He's fun, he's charming, he's loving, he's passionate, he can be intense. There's moments where you can really feel how intensely he cares about his daughter and his music and this potential opportunity for them. And Nick Offerman really does shine in this film. And Kiersey Clemens plays his daughter, who's popped up in a few things, including like the second Neighbors movie. And she is really really good in this and there's some scenes where she has to carry some emotion 
and there's this one particular scene with her and her girlfriend where they share a very passionate emotional moment coming from the past in terms of stuff that this daughter is dealing with and they have a really powerful moment Sasha Lane plays the girlfriend and I thought she was really good she wasn't the most fleshed out character in this film but I think that her and Kiersey Clemens had great chemistry and really made me believe in what was driving her and her wanting to write music about it and then the fun supporting cast with Tony Collette who does a really nice job it's interesting seeing her in this after seeing Hereditary not that long ago and then Ted Danson who I've been recently watching a lot in The Good Place absolutely love him he's hilarious and he does a really good job here very interestingly he's kind of the Nick Offerman character from The Hero in Brett, Ke in Brett Haley's last film so it's like you kind of get that kind of like stoner buddy friend in both these films and it's interesting seeing Nick Offerman being the one that's not that and then you have Ted Danson playing that in this film. My biggest drawback of this film is it's predictable and it's not like the story isn't something that you haven't seen before and I'm not going to knock it for that too much because this is a lovely charming wonderful film it made me feel so uplifted it made me kind of want to make some music or at least focus on doing something artful and it kind of made me want to start writing again and this film is very inspiring it's a lot of fun it's great music it's a great time and it's a really wonderful movie that you should go check out if you get a chance to find it around you I highly recommend Hearts Beat Loud and go check it out and if you want go check out some Brett Haley's other films including The Hero but this is definitely if this comes around you go see this movie